About five years ago, I had read about adoptees to the United States that had been deported, specifically Korean Americans. I almost couldn't believe that it was true, that there were so many adopted children that can legally be kicked out of the country that they've been raised in. I just don't understand how they can deport him. Listen to him, look at him, he's American. It doesn't matter what he looked like. It's immigration policy. I can't imagine growing up, questioning your identity, and then on top of that, the country that you thought you could at least say was yours, for them to tell you, no, you're not even an American. I felt a need to make a film about it to at least bring up the conversation. Hey, did I say Bye, you baby. can leave? Put your hands on the OK, let's shoot it. Justin is fantastic, and I loved working with him. To have a director who is an actor as well, it kind of gives you a language that is very straightforward. Justin Chan as a filmmaker is so strong in just getting out there and saying what he wants to say. He's so talented, he knows exactly what he wants. Yeah, once I pass frame, it's done. It's done. I think the most beautiful thing was his commitment to the adoptee community and wanting to shine a light on that. You never chose me, Suzanne. You never chose me. That's all I wanted. Authenticity is so important to him. Justin always knew he wanted to film it in the South in his research. He loved the pockets of Asian communities coming to this country from Korea or Vietnam. One of the big goals of mine for this particular film was to tell a story about two different Asian ethnicities. I felt like it'd be really interesting to have a Korean American adoptee learn what his culture could possibly be like through an adjacent Asian culture, which is the Vietnamese American experience. One of my favorite relationships uh, was the one between Parker and Antonio. Looks like you're having a hard time there. Forgot your last name? Yeah. I can't read. <laughs> Linda and Pham is truly one of the most brilliant actresses of her generation, and we were really very blessed to have her be a part of this. I always felt like she had this very otherworldly gravitas about her. She agreed that it'd be appropriate for her to shave her head for the role. As soon as she started to shave her head, I started to see a peek into her character as Parker. She got very emotional, just felt so cathartic. Parker has integrated her Asian heritage. She's got a, a very strong family network, whereas Antonio was adopted and abandoned and never really had any Asian culture knowledge. And it's kind of a, a wound for him. His own mother is maybe the one memory that he has from when he was uh, growing up in Korea. And that's something that he's tried to lock away in his mind. And, and through Parker, he let himself be vulnerable and start to rediscover who he is himself. Water lilies look like they have no roots, but they do. They can't survive without them. I'm Korean. I try to bring that to the American narrative. And all my films have two things, Han, which is an internal fire, and that can be manifest in a lot of different ways and Chong, right? You know, brotherhood and, and you know, the, the love for a fellow human. You know what, go to the moon with you, right? I ain't scared. Elisa Vikander is committed and curious and one of the hardest working actors. She flew out to New Orleans on her own because she'd never been to the South before and she wanted to be there and live there and just walk in the city. There's this salt of the earth quality about her and you're instantly drawn to her and she's just, you know, she's magic. I got Jessie fed, I'll get her to school. Okay. It's a very intimate family story. In the end, it's incredible to see how Jesse says that you are my family. I choose you. You are the dad who actually raised me. It's quite a powerful effect. Don't go! Please, don't go! A big theme of this film is family is the family that you choose. At the end, when Antonio looks back at the family he's leaving behind and you see Ace, Kathy, and Jesse, who are white. And Antonio is the one that's being led away. 
What I'm asking is, is, is that the definition of, of an American family?